Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today showing you Bloatbox. And Bloatbox will remove Windows 10 bloatware. It's actually really easy to use, but it can get a little complex, so I thought I'd show you how to use the program. It's been pretty popular on Major Geeks so far. So you're going to download a portable file, bloatbox.zip, and check the video description for a link to get to this page, and just click Download Now. Once you have it, extract the file and click on Bloatbox. As you can see, it will generate a text file, which is why we want to extract it, and it keeps track of what you've installed and not installed. Now there's a couple of things you can look at here. Let's start with the basics. If you want to remove an app, just find it and click Add Selected. You could also do Add All and over here as well, Remove All. I like to do them one at a time, so let's do this. Then you just click on whatever you moved over to Remove Apps and click on Remove Selected. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, I'm sorry. Click on Uninstall. Like I said, it's really easy to use, but there's a few things going on that throw me a little bit. Let's get rid of the Xbox app. Let's Add Selected. Now we have two. When you're ready, go ahead and click on Uninstall. And you'll get this message. And it will remove the app, remove the registry entries, etc. Alright, so we have a couple other things going on here you might not have noticed. One's right here. And one is right here. Let's start with the optional features. This uses the Windows 10 debloater, which is a PowerShell script, and again, pretty popular on Major Geeks. Essentially, what this does removes all your bloatware with no user interaction from you. So I save this for advanced users, and here's why. Here's the list of everything it's going to remove. That is quite a large list. So if you want to do that, you can click here, and it will begin using the script as you can see right here and I'm going to opt out there you go so you can select yes to go ahead and click no and don't worry about all this stuff it's pretty common so again that's up to you if you go ahead and click yes it will go ahead and continue running this that is up to you as you can see it's probably more for advanced users so I probably wouldn't play with it. The other one is start fresh if your Windows 10 is loaded with bloatware. So it's a list of known bloatware that you may potentially have. And that's a little safer to run. Let me get out of this right now. We don't need to worry about it. So you click the start fresh. And it's going to list every known annoying app that's pre-installed. And not just Windows 10 now. Dell, Hewitt Packard, you name it. Not to necessarily pick anybody out. As you can see... Lenovo, there's your Candy Crush, Solitaire, and just a handful of other apps to go along with the stuff that's over here. So keep in mind that if you're on this side of the screen, there's 38 apps here ready to be removed. You can once again click on anything you want. And by the way, if you see this message right here, 5499, don't worry about it. That is related to Cortana. However, if you're going to uninstall Cortana, you might want to take it out, but I'd leave that one alone. So, for example, I don't want to bother with that. I will click Remove Selected. Now it's over here. If I want to remove everything, once again, we're going to click Uninstall. Now, remember, as I mentioned earlier, it's not going to take too long to remove an app. It's not going to take long to remove two apps. It's going to take a few minutes to remove 38 apps. So you can watch. That was quick. Make me a liar, huh? I've got a pretty fast computer too. So just keep in mind, if you have a slower computer, removing 38 apps, even with PowerShell, could take 5, 10 minutes. So don't get nervous as you're sitting there waiting. So once again, that's about it. So just add, remove as you like. What I don't see, let me take a look. I do not see a way to restore them. So if you change your mind later, something to keep in mind as well. Some people are happy to remove all the bloat and call it a day. If you're not 100% sure, do it the way I told you to do it, which is, not that I'm telling you to do it, you know what I'm saying, is do them one at a time so you know what you removed, and if you change your mind later, you can get it back. There you go. Pretty simple. People are digging it. Check it out. See what you think. Bottom right corner, a little Major Geeks logo pops up. You click on that. You can subscribe for other video tutorials, fixing your computer, trying out software, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.